reach out is like one of the biggest like tools that everyone uses and it just kind of has become the default application because of availability because of language because of adoption rate but then there's a huge lack of uh, free expression and there have been cases where Tibans have been arrested for sharing a photo of his illness on WeChat there was a mother of three and she was arrested for just sharing a photo of his illness there's always like stories of somebody being arrested for sharing something or sending some information or sharing a photo and when that has happened like there is that uh, kind of like self censorship uh, people are like well this is a great tool but as long as i'm not political i can use this as much as i want so you can still communicate right so communication becomes really important but then the free expression in terms of like being able to talk about what you want to do is like okay secondary in some ways one of the things that we noticed after like the rise of the internet like in tibetan areas inside tibet is the fact that like there was so much more communication going back and forth and as a community like uh, which has like two different components living inside tibet as well as a diaspora that was really important before 2009 2008 there was no communication like there was like random phone calls maybe once in a while like somebody could communicate back and forth every information that was coming out of tibet were usually political like about a protest or arrest and stuff like that and the information going in was usually through the media and which was always a bit more about like his illness but at the same time was about like uh, other aspects like political aspects but with the rise of uh, ICT like in tibet as well as in exile in the diaspora it's interesting like you can actually see what's happening it brings a community a lot more together in some ways because now we know what people inside tibet are interested in not from a political sense but from like a cultural sense what music they listen to what they do in daily life and the same thing is happening on the other side like they see what how the exile community is living like whether it's like in india or abroad so i think like icd actually does play a huge role and i think the particular challenge that i see is the fact that like with the rise of icd this the rise of like censorship and surveillance and that kind of like i don't know what impact is going to happen in the future but right now there's a space like in terms of like being able to share uh, if it's not political my biggest fear is the fact that like what is political right like that's a huge question like right now like okay if you're talking about his owners if you're talking about the chinese government if you're talking about the tibetan local government that's political but after a while it might just be language it might be culture so the space is going to get less and less and i think that's the scary part